So you might be having an error on your iPhone, or for some reason it's telling you that there is no internet connection, even when it looks like you're connected to an internet connection. Now, this happened to me literally yesterday, and the main way to go ahead and fix this that I went ahead and did was by making my way over to my settings application of my iPhone. So what we want to do here is we want to go back into settings, want to go back into Wi-Fi if you're not already there, and you want to go ahead and find that Wi-Fi connection, and you want to go and click the eye that is right next to it. So in this case, I'll just go and click the eye. It's going to be a little hard. Now, when you click on the eye, you'll come into this page. It's going to tell you a bunch of stuff. But what you want to do is you want to click forget this network. So why are we going to go and click this? Now, the reason why is because you usually have to have a prompt that comes up when you actually go ahead and you know connect to an internet connection. Because sometimes this may be something like a hotel Wi-Fi that I'm connected to right now, or maybe something like a college campus Wi-Fi. And sometimes it prompts you to go ahead and send some information back to them. So sometimes it doesn't, like if you're just going through connected to like a Starbucks Wi-Fi or something, you may just have to go ahead and type in your email address or click accept. But in this case, or in a college campus case, you'll have to go ahead and either be a, you know, a student or whatever and type in your information. So just click forget this network and retry logging in or, you know, connecting to that network. And that might end up fixing the situation as well. Now, another thing you can try on top of that is if you're already connected and everything looks good, but you're still getting that no internet connection problem is by going through and loading up a web page. So what you can do here is you can look up the specific error like I did, or you can make your way over to like apple.com or google.com or whatever. And instead of an actual website loading up, which it might, and if it does, then you can just move on because it's probably not even an error. It's probably just a glitch. But in this case, what it's going to happen is a little prompt is going to you know come up. Now it's not going to be the prompt that we showed before. It's going to be a different one. And it's going to show you, hey, you need to accept our terms. You need to log into your account or whatever the case is in order to access Wi-Fi. And that is the big thing. That is the main way you're going to go ahead and kind of circumvent this issue is by actually logging in or connecting to it via that way. And that is the only other way to pretty much fix this. Now, you can always try going through and restarting your phone. So you can just hold down the buttons to restart your device, go and restart it. That might end up fixing it. You can also try seeing if there's an update available for your phone as well. So just go and click here, click on general, click on software update, and that might end up fixing the situation as well. So those are a few different ways to fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything. I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.